Hello everyone, today I'd like to get back to the malware topic once again. As you might know, I'm still working on a new video uh, starring Malware 10. And in the first one, I asked people to send me adware submissions, links to adware and any malware in general really. I've got many submissions, but one of them really does deserve a separate video, I feel like. Credits for finding this go to Willex Project. He sent me an email stating that this is a file dumpster with a Gary Smod hack, which installs lots of bloatware, adware and open candy. Uh, and here I have the link to the dumpster he got it from. It looks like uh, a generic miner downloader or a double link site. Usually you get a miner or something of that kind from such a dumpster. It doesn't look convincing at all. Once we download it though, we get redirected and my clock is behind. I assume yeah, it's correct that my clock is behind. It's October 17th, there we go. 130. So it redirects me multiple times and I get to that screen. This is the point where you get a miner once you click the download button. But it looks different. Usually the, when the download starts it's a double archive, basically a passworded archive inside the first one. This one is an executable. Uh, and I checked it beforehand and it's in fact a juicy garbage installer. Let's copy it to the desktop. So the question I immediately asked myself was how much trash can I extract from such an installer? And in this video we will find out. What started? Software installation by Wakenet AB. Yeah, the Gary Small hack. Truly. Wait a bit, and it shows me the VLC media player. <laughs> of course it is a VLC media player installer. Uh, you can kind of draw similarities between this installer and the one I got from fake download buttons back in my most popular video, I think. It was something like malware bytes and it served AIMP in reality. Yeah, we, we can click next and we agree to everything. It looks shady as fuck. I think you can confirm it. Click next and we got the first optional offer, which is Yandex. It's probably Yandex because I'm Russian and I use the Russian IP. And this is the first thing we always get with uh, optional offers. Because Yandex is a huge corporation and pays a lot, lots of money to such trash installers to get their pop installed on your computer. Oh, we're gonna keep the check mark. Oh, and the next one is CCleaner. Remember when it was good? When it was actually optimizing your computer? We can decline here. Uh, but check that out. We have a check mark here, but once we click next, we don't have a check mark. Instead, we have a decline button, which we gotta click to continue. Usually, what I like to do, once I open such an installer by accident, maybe, I just go to the task manager and I just kill it. I don't press anything. I don't press any buttons. I just ignore it because it's literally malware. You don't want to interact with it. You just click and end task. You don't want to fuck with it. But for the sake of this video, I'm gonna accept everything. And VLC media player downloaded in progress. All is good. And in the meantime, I think it installs all the optional offers in, in the background. I can't really see it now. It's probably gonna be like something yandex.exe and ccleaner.exe. Ah, nah, never mind. It's 31e5nxl4.exe. 
fu1.exe makes sense setup downloader oh maybe it copied itself to the temp folder not really sure all right let's just wait oh what, what was that Explorer flashed and there was a Yandex icon. Ah, there we go. That's the go idea of this. And it's in temp. It's in temp and it is the browser installer. I believe it's not just the browser. There are lots of optional offers that come with the browser too. So it's, it's like a Hydra. It's gonna take a long time because they don't care about their servers, they care about accept clicks. Just 70 kilobit kilobytes per second. Pretty shameful. We've got CCleaner. I, I think I missed it, but it's now on the desktop. It's probably all set. Yeah, it's all set. Woohoo! Sea Cleaner Free is ready! <laughs> yeah, accept! Now we got an optional offer inside the program that came with an optional offer. That's what I'm talking about. It's like a matryoshka, if you will. We got AVG installed with that, with the Sea Cleaner. And Yandex browser comes with its own assistant, completely unneeded, trash assistant, and uh, I think a browser manager. Well, my VLC media player download is in progress, but I don't really care about this. I just want Yandex to install, and that's when we are gonna shut this downloader down and start it again, and see if we get more optional offers as we go. Oh, and by the way, I don't really know if to trust an antivirus if it comes as an optional offer to some pop, like CCleaner. <laughs> I'm gonna collect all these stubs and installers on the right side. Light installer. Is this not only the optional offers, but some malware installer as well? That's Yandex. Probably just an engine of that setup program. Yeah, so far nothing else. Last time I installed that Yandex optional offer, it took me like 15 minutes. Really slow. Maybe it bangs on the user not noticing it and shutting their computer down and when they start it up again they see Yandex on their desktop and they start using it. Because most of the people who use Yandex browser are like young, super young or super old. I think I'll shut off the installer before it downloads. Maybe it'll create some registry entry that, it, that has downloaded the software and it's gonna prevent me from starting it up again. Yes, why is there yes, no, cancel? Do, do these buttons do the same thing? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's the classics. Please note that the following selected software has or have been installed, Yandex and CCleaner. And <laughs> they just say, we can't do anything. You just clicked accept and we just installed garbage on your computer. And even if you cancelled our installer, it's not gonna cancel the rest. <laughs> Amazing. Ah, oh, yes, I'm back and it's... I think it's done. It says that it's copying data and we are in. And here is their stupid voice assistant that I don't care about at all. Alright, all the optional offers have been installed and... We gotta start the installer again. Let's extra extract more juice. <laughs> a 
AVG Cyber Capture. What is that? Can I turn it off? It's gonna like ruin my day. Is this like a screen recorder? Basic protection, file shield. I'll just turn everything off. God, it's so annoying. Why is there no not a single button to turn everything off at the same time? I hope it lets us through. Let's do that. Alright, next. Oh, there we go. A new optional offer. Now it's Opera. I have used that browser in the past. And it's a shame that I have. Let's install it. Oh, McAfee Web Advisor. Sure. Let's install it as well. Mm-hmm. Sounds about right. There is the installer for Opera. And where's the McAfee? Web Advisor. Oh, it's speeding up to 100 kilobytes per second. Okay. Still no VLC and uh, MCAFE Web Advisor should be installed too. Sender.exe, something new. Another malware, probably. Command prompt has opened. Can't see the command line, but I think I can enable it. Ah, there we go, there it is. Good. Get that fake shit out of here. Ah, look at this. <laughs> On pop-up, try the browser's free VPN and fast ad blocker. But they try to get you back into the Opera browser every once in a while. If installing it forcefully wasn't enough. Yeah, no McAfee for me, but I assume it's just an installer installer problem. So let's install it ourselves. Oh, it's not default anymore too, and there is Yandex. Uh, wait. <laughs> I didn't expect... I didn't expect that. This counts as an optional offer, so I'll install it. Game Cafe Web Advisor. Gotta do the work for the installer, I guess. <laughs> While it's downloading, let's try running the installer one more time. The third one in our books. Oh, there's the McAfee. Now we have another optional offer, which is Avast Secure Browser. One more trash browser. Absolutely. Except. I assume this would be silent. Now we have Avast Secure Browser on our desktop. How much more can we extract? Once more. Oh, now we have Adam. And now it's in Russian because obviously it's targeted at me. So this means an optional offer. Browser Adam. Add a wire web companion. We're gonna accept that as well. It's been 31 minutes. Loader, okay, Let's take it out from the temp folder. Did it already install? Usually flashes like that once it's installed. There's the in silent installer. Oh, it's installed. Maybe I can find it in Win plus S search. start menu. It has all sorts of arguments. Lots of telemetry. I assume it's installed. Let's continue. 
Let's continue on with our journey the fifth time. <sighs> Clicking the next button. Oh no, not anymore. Nothing else. So there are no more optional offers here. But what I can do, I can turn on the VPN and use it to get another IP address. All right, the IP has changed. And so we should get a few more optional offers out of this installer. It's loading, come on. Show me the money. Mmm, beautiful, as I expected. Now we get the Spy Hunter. Don't fall victim to malware attacks. Well, I already have. And Valiant. <laughs> this is the first time I hear about that program, and we're gonna accept it. What's good about VPN, it really slows down the internet speed, so I can hold it running for a bit more. Is it's really floored down at 16.6 .6 kilobytes per second. What's not good is it's it's gonna be so slow downloading the optional offers, which we really need. It's not every day that you say that you need those optional offers. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Check out the temp folder. Anything here? 505. I think the size on this will be increasing over time. Alright, yes. There's the icon already. Great. And did it start? And yes it did. I think it's Wolian. How about the Spy Hunter? It's here. I'll start putting it down below, so it's gonna grow a nice little column huh so it's just a dropper and the real volant is located inside local lab data every day you learn spy hunter however is starting from inside temp folder set template id yeah generic rogue Ah, look at that. It's sped up again. I think it prioritizes the optional offers first. So it has to download the optional offers and then it starts downloading the, for instance, VLC media player. The original file that you intended to download. That shows a lot about the intent. <laughs> I don't understand what Valiant is. What, what is it for? Silent. I'm looking at the wrong arguments. It's just volant. It is in hidden processes too. I, I kind of want to Google it. What's volant? <laughs> sounds about right. I'm not gonna lie. Sounds about right. That's still Spy Hunter, so it's gonna be here. I don't know what, what's that made for, but I'll run Spy Hunter. Scanner, all that stuff. Nice. While Spy Hunter is installing, finishing its install process, we're gonna find some more optional offers. Driver genius, solve all driver problems. Heck yes, heck yes. Winzip, absolutely. Now we're starting to get outright malware, uh, because the driver genius is, as far as I know, it's actually a rogue. And the Winzip, well, it's not that credible. It's an infamous archive program. Oh, so there is an extension as well. <laughs> Good to know, good to know. It's also installing trash extensions. 
with all those bundles. Oh, hello, how are you doing? Alex Hijacker. Oh, we've got another layer, did we? I think it's gonna be among one of the few one-hour videos I have on my channel. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Driver Genius has installed. Something tells me WinZip is not gonna be installed anytime soon. Let's download WinZip because it was in optional offers and it failed to install that optional offer. Free download. You can see how shady it is just by looking at the uh, website it's on, the official website. Again, the installer would be silent with a lot of arguments to hide it from me. I will start the garbage installer once again. Can we get a bit more out of this? It's good, it's loading. That means we get something else, I hope. Please? Please? Yeah! Quick driver updater. Just another rogue. And WinZip. WinZip, the, the one I'm installing right now. I think it allocates space on the drive first and then downloads data into it. That's why it's treated as corrupt. There we go. The driver updater is already here. Not even a second past. Can we start it? Still doesn't run. Gotta wait till it finishes setting itself up. Alright. I'm back and uh, the quick driver updater has finally installed. Really scanning for the driver updates. Okay, so my final check is 45 USD. I'm gonna save this link because I kind of love preserving malware history. Especially something like this, the checkout pages. They're no less important than actual rogues themselves. So I'm gonna save that link real quick and we're gonna continue. Una mas! Still VLC media player, but what about the optional offers? What do we get this time? Winzip. I'm gonna go ahead and decline because we're currently installing the Winzip and we've got terabyte, terabyte backup. I'm confident that this is the software I wouldn't trust if it's being distributed through such shady software installer. I need to keep pumping more and more software out of this installer if I wanna finish quicker. That's why I need to wait for the WinZip installer to finish. Once it does, we will be golden and we will continue getting our two software titles at a time. Alright, I'm back and the VLC media player has been successfully downloaded. Couldn't do anything about that, but we'll do it later. Oh wait, it's uh, created in downloads every single time anyway. And it's being completely downloaded. Alright, <laughs> well, let's do it later. Uh, WinZip was also installed. 
No more optional offers here, although I might have skipped something on, on top. Anyway, let's run this one more time. We're gonna continue running this until it runs dry. I need my VLC media player again. The PDF Suite 2021. <laughs> the, I love how they say it's the Adobe Acrobat alternative. <laughs> they can't pop off themselves, they got a piggyback off of Adobe. Amazing. Except Mask VPN. This my friends is malware. I had this on malware 10, I, I can recall it. And it was installed with one of the miners and it pumps data to some servers. I'm not sure to, to which, but I saw a log that was called mask VPN something. And it was sending all the system characteristics, it was sending uh, the IP address, it was sending everything, even when it was in the background. That's great. Okay, I saw Mask VPN flash on the taskbar and the speed started going up. That means we are getting infected. I'm gonna copy the Mask VPN executable real quick. I'm kind of surprised that WinZip came with all this stuff. Although I only installed WinZip itself, I didn't need anything. There weren't even any check marks to disable the rest of the components. Okay, the PDF suit, as it, as, it is, as it is called, has been installed, finally. Of course it is a trial. Whatever. Okay, can you stop? And a pop-up. Software upgrade available. No. I don't have time for this. And we continue with our software installation. Let's go! What do we, what does it have in store for us? System Assistant? This seems like a rogue. Terabyte. Wait. Q&E Companion. Seems like an optimizer. We will accept it. I hope it is not a 150 megabyte executable because it's gonna download for so so long. Oh, System Assistant was installed. Nice. Oh, a classical rogue. Amazing, do I have to pay for this? Or is this free? Well, I guess if they're pushing ads, it's obviously paid. And Avan Quest, what's that? Oh, we gotta register our system assistant. That's just great. They're asking me whether I want their program in the taskbar or not. Also in the default Windows manner. Haven't seen that a lot. Sure, let's allow that. Q and a clip. And start again. And again and again. Let's see how much we'll get. No, not on... That's about it. There are no more optional offers for us on this IP address. The well is dry. We have a new IP. We are in Germany. Let's try the installer once more. Please, more optional offers, please. It's loading. Ah, yes. Now we get update push which is claiming to protect us against viruses, spyware, trojans, capitalized, and worms. thought worms were dead. Long time ago. 
Okay. Only one optional offer for Germans. Update push. What a weird name. This sounds like a push notification scam site. Updatepush.com. There's the installer. Setup, setup. <laughs> the publisher is. I better not say that. Oh, it's there. Nice. It finished installing. Update push dot. Did I not call it? Did I not call it? Did I not call it? Push update push dot com. I didn't even know that site existed, but I somehow, I somehow managed to predict what would what was gonna happen. <laughs> this site contains harmful programs. Okay, okay. Start the installation. Ah! Did, did I not come? If this doesn't show me any more additional offers, I think I'll call it a day. We're being thorough here. Alright, let's see. Okay. I think I can reasonably conclude that there are no more optional offers in this installer. Well, I think that's about it. Here's how the processes look on this computer. It's pretty messed up. Kind of a dumpster at this point. Here's the desktop. And here's the start menu. I think there was something because... Oh, there it is. There were some icons. Because initially it was just in half. Here's the start menu. Lots of trash. And can you believe it? It's from a single trash installer. If you ever get in a situation where you accidentally run such an installer, for instance, you're just having like a bad day, you're tired, you want to download software real quick, you start it, and you get such an installer. What you do? You just open the task manager, go to details, find the shady setup program like this, and you kill it. And this is it. Don't ever click in that window. Even if you click the X button, it might ask you, do you want to close the installer, but install the additional components? And then they show you the yes, no, cancel buttons. The fuck do you click? That's right, nothing. Because just think about it. What does the no button mean? Install the additional shitbag offers and not close the installer, or what? Each installer intentionally has different meanings for yes, no, cancel. And that's why you should always kill the process through task manager. Take care.